Hey guys, it's Young Windichess here, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to get the most FPS on Fortnite in Season 5. Okay, so now that you're in game, you want to go up here, hit Settings, and then you want to leave this on full screen. Set Display Resolution to uh, 1280 by 740, uh, 720 rather. Set the quality to low and then 3G resolution to around 50 then view distance near, shadows off, anti-aliasing off, textures low, effects low, pros processing low, vsync off, motion blur off, um, show FPS, um, it's up to you, it's if you want to see your FPS or not and then allow video playback off. Then what you want to do is hit apply should take a couple of seconds just for the load your new option and then you can hit escape or back and you'll see it looks a bit disgusting but you will be getting drastically more FPS already so now we're gonna hop into Windows your desktop and we're gonna do a couple more optimizations I'll see you over there okay so now that you're on your desktop you want to go down and download my Fortnite scene 5 FPS increase it's in the description then um, you will need 7-zip or um, I think there's one called Zippy uh, but yeah you'll need a, a extractor to uh, get it into a file format that you can use so uh, for 7-zip what you want to do is right click go to 7-zip and hit extract here then it'll do the extraction and it'll put it on your desktop then you can just put that to the side and click on this to open it you should have files to replace optimizations and launch options so we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up we're going to start with launch options what you want to do is go to epic games launcher you want to go to the cog go to settings go to fortnite here open it up then um, this is personal preference this is just if you want fortnite to auto update it doesn't affect fps anyway but the one we're looking for is additional command line arguments so you want to make sure that is on then you want to go to the folder open it up and copy it in now you might only need to change one thing which is the number after preferred processor so what you want to do is type down here task manager open that up go to performance and then here you want to look for the number that says logical processors then what you want to do is go back there and instead of this 8 put the number of logical processors it says you have then you just want to close that all down and then that's that done okay so next while we're in task manager you want to go to startup and then basically anything here that you don't use on startup um, for example you don't need it as soon as you launch your PC it's better to just disable for example I don't use Spotify as soon as I start my PC so I have that disabled same with Steam you know if I want to play a Steam game I can open up Steam I don't need it opening up every time I launch my computer so I have certain things enabled um, Epic Game Launcher um, I honestly could disable as well I don't recommend like maybe if you only play one game you can leave the launcher opening on startup but for most people it's probably better to just disable game launchers on startup okay then you want to go ahead and close that down and we'll go to optimizations you should see three things here unpark cpu cc setup and mb3 setup so again we'll start from the bottom and work our way up you want to run mb3 setup and what this will do is it will give you this program Malwarebytes basically all you want to do is hit scan and what that will do is it will sc start scanning your PC for viruses or pups uh, pups are potentially unwanted programs um, and yeah that can just run in the background while we're doing the rest of our optimizations this is completely free by the way so there's no cost included then you want to run CC setup, which will give you this thing called CC cleaner. Then it'll give you something like this. 
so you want to just go ahead and run cleaner and then basically what this will do is it will just clean out all the junk files from your PC none of them are needed at all um, it's not going to clear out any word documents or anything like that could be important it'll just be a bunch of trash files that you really don't need and they'll just be slowing down your computer so both these things can run in the background and you should be fine and as you can see uh, one thing has been identified from the computer it was potentially a unwanted program and it was some chrome thing that wasn't needed so you may have more than that if you do it will definitely wear your computer down and as you can see that removed quite a lot of um, data from my PC that I just didn't need and it was completely just bogging my PC down okay so then what you want to do is go to unpark CPU app you want to run this hit yes when it asks you then you want to hit check status and while that's doing that go back to malware bytes close the notification and this is just a uh, potentially unwanted program so just hit quarantine selected this will just remove it from your PC it'll say scan and quarantine complete and that's us finished with that then what this is doing is it's just checking to see if your CPU is parked or unparked and it can take a while so we can do other things while this is happening all these run in the background so feel free to just follow on with the tutorial as we keep going so next thing we're going to do is ah we can see here so if they say parked just hit unpark all and then what that will do is unpark your CPU so they're running at maximum capacity okay so then we want to go to files to replace and we have a couple of things here basically we have to get these and put these into our app data uh, on Fortnite. So I'm going to right click on File Explorer and open up a new one. I'm going to go to Windows C, Users, your username, App Data. If you don't see App Data, you might have to go to View and check Yes on Hidden Items. Then you want to go to local, find Fortnite game, there it is, hit saved, config, Windows client, and then you might see game or user settings, or if you've followed one of my tutorials in the past, you might see all three of these, it just depends on what you've done. So then you just want to go ahead and drag those in, hit yes on replace, and there, we're ready to go. Then you want to close that down. And now we're going to go and fix the Fortnite. So we want to open up another file explorer. And you need to find where your Fortnite is saved. It might be in Windows C, Program Files. I personally have it installed on my D drive, so I go to Windows D. I go to Program Files, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64. And then scroll down and it will be here. Yours might be in this, uh, in the C drive. Uh, you just have to have a little look around and see if you can find it. Then what you want to do is go ahead and right click on the top one. Properties. Compatibility. Then you want to override high DPI scaling behavior. Disable full screen optimizations and make sure you run as administrator. Then you want to hit apply. Okay. And you want to just do that for all of these. So compatibility. Override high DPI, disable full screen optimizations, apply. Oh, and run as administrator, of course. Same thing for this one properties, compatibility, override high DPI, disable full screen optimizations, run this program as administrator, and apply. And then the last one here properties, compatibility, override high DPI, disable full screen and run this program as an administrator. Then what you want to do is close that down and type down here power. Then you're looking for the little uh, battery and plug and hit choose power plan. 
then by default you will probably have balanced and power saver here then you need to hit this little checkbox and click on this which will be high performance so you, once you set it to high performance you want to change plan settings these are all personal preference then change advanced power settings you want to go to hard disk click on that and it will normally be set to 20 you want to set it to 0 then you want to go to process power management minimum state and maximum state and you want to make sure they are both 100% then what you want to do is just close out of that and then you are done with the windows section of this the last thing you're going to want to do is go to the links in the description depending on if you have AMD or GeForce uh, GeForce is NVIDIA um, then what you want to do is find your um, so for NVIDIA say uh, if you had a GeForce you uh, were running on a laptop maybe so you have a 950 so we'll go to 950M then you would start search and this would basically give you the drivers for 950M so you'd go ahead and download those same for AMD say if you had a I'm trying to think of a, an AMD um, graphics card because I don't personally use them um, say if you had an R5 R5 200 and you had an R5M uh, I think that's a pretty common laptop driver you basically click on that and that would give you the driver for your system basically why you want to do this is it just means your PC can interact with your graphics card in the most efficient way possible giving you the most FPS so now let's hop into the game and see what it's like after these improvements so here you can see that we're jumping out the bus and we're already getting way more FPS than we were before before we were getting about 70 now we're getting lowest uh, 120 and then highest is going way over the 200 mark so let's drop uh, tilted so we can try and get into some gunfights see if we can see what kind of FPS we're getting so we're just going to go in here get this chest the famous, that's ok So they're going to build, uh, they drop down. So, um, But as you can see, even with these lower settings, you can still see um, enemies in the distance. Um, you know it's not well, another one. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to drop down here, see if we can get to some gunfights. As you can see, the whole time the FPS is actually now it's um, staying around the 300 mark. Compared to the 70 we were getting before at all times, that is uh, pretty incredible. As you can see though, things are a bit blocky. Um, so I just dropped a trap up there, so I'm going to be careful going up here. I'm going to pop the other uh, chug. And yeah, see if we can get in a gunfight up here. Just uh, try the FPS. But yeah, as you can see, it's uh, staying around the, the 200 mark. Uh, at all times, at least. And um, a lot of the time it's going above that to the 300. So it's working out very, very well. I'm not actually sure where that guy went. Um, he just completely disappeared. Uh, but he's left all the, the... And there you can see we get absolutely wrecked. But staying around that 300 mark definitely makes things a lot easier, especially for you on those low NPCs. Um, speaking of low NPCs and laptops, if you are running on a low NPC or laptop and this wasn't good enough for you, and we'll be dropping another video um, within the next few days might already be up um, if it is I will leave a link in the description if not um, another video on Fortnite in the next couple of days for people on laptops will be dropping so keep an eye out for that be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of content and also if you like it leave a like oh.